Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. What is good, you guys? My name is Rebound Leader. What if a supernova hits Earth? Then we're dead. We're dead. Supernovae are the most powerful explosions in the universe, unleashing enough energy to outshine galaxies. Okay. We have no real metaphor for their power. If the sun were to magically go supernova, it would feel like you were being hit by the energy of a nuclear explosion every second for weeks. Damn! While supernovae are the engines of creation, forging the elements that enable life, they also burn sterile whole regions of galaxies. Holy! So what would happen if one hit Earth? Oh, we're screwed. We would be dead. We would be dismantled in seconds. GG's. There are, roughly speaking, two ways to make a supernova. Either the core of a massive star implodes, or okay. less common, a white dwarf gains mass to the point where it ignites explosive nuclear fusion. The outcome is the same, a supernova explosion. Mm. When we think of an explosion on Earth, we think of something that happens fast and ends. Mm. But a supernova is more like a volcanic eruption followed by a tsunami. Ooh. At first, there's a colorful ball of hot, expanding gas, creating a spectacular cloud that will shine for about a month. But then, a, a it month? doesn't stop. Hot and dangerous gas rushes outwards at speeds of 10,000 kilometers a second through the near vacuum of space, sweeping up the sparse gas of the galaxy. This wall of gas expands for tens of thousands of years and will eventually span up to dozens of light years until it finally cools off and disperses its substance back into the galaxy. Lord, have mercy, so what 20 if plus, 20,000 plus years. It's us. Well, the damage depends on how far away it is. Mm. Stage one, thousands of light years away. Humans have witnessed dozens of supernovae, but all of them were thousands of light years away. Holy frick. They appeared as new stars, some outshining the moon, twinkling for a few weeks, and disappearing. Aside from looking very pretty at this distance, they don't do much to us. Facts. Stage two, 300 light years away. Yikes. Things begin to get a bit icky once a supernova occurs around 300 light years away. We can expect one this close to us every few million years. Wow. A single star giving the night sky an eerie glow like twilight. And while this is far enough away and dim enough to not do harm to us, they can affect the Earth. Really? At these distances, it's like being hit by the last weak waves of the star tsunami. Not strong enough to do real damage, but still noticeable. That's crazy. In fact, That's still we scary. Know that over the past it's 300 light years away, and it can still freaking affect us. And we're not expected to get one since when? A million of a years from now? Is that what I'm getting from this, bro? This is this, like we're clocked. A million years, <laughs> multiple supernovae. We're clocked, bro. Because I'm living till I'm two th 200 million. So. <laughs> Earth from these distances because we can find Sorry. radioactive isotopes of iron deep in the rocks and sediments at the bottom of the ocean. Mm. Amazingly, these supernovae around the solar system have cleared a 1,000 light year wide pocket of space that's called the local bubble. The local they bubble. They blew away the interstellar gas and dust. That looks like the dirty bubble. Like, what the frick is that's that? That's now a cradle for star formation. It looks like the dirty Stage bubble. Stage 3, 150 light years away. Okay. Once a supernova happens much closer than 300 light years, we're approaching the zone where it does real damage. GG's. Stars have extremely powerful magnetic fields. GG's. When they die, the tsunami of dead star actually retains a lot of this magnetic energy woven through the shock wave that expands outwards. Mm. In this highly magnetized cloud, we get conditions like in a huge particle accelerator that's accelerating charged particles like protons, nuclei, and electrons to immense speeds. Wow. Which means we have an expanding cloud that is shooting deadly radiation in all directions long oh. after the bright oh. light from the initial explosion has faded away. <laughs> If a supernova oh happens too close by, waves of these cosmic rays will wash over the solar system for thousands of years. While we're mostly protected on Earth's surface by the atmosphere and ozone layer, the True. influx of extra radiation will still increase cancer and mutation rates. Cancer Not enough and to mutation. cause a mass extinction, but it will be noticeable. Spaceflight would become impossible in the That's solar true. system as astronauts wouldn't survive the waves of radiation for long. We don't know exactly how bad this would be, but a supernova that is close enough may trap our species on Earth for generations, maybe thousands of years. It only gets worse from here. Okay, stage Talk four, 
closer than 100 light years. Okay. Within 100 light years, things get bad, as a supernova disrupts our climate in ways that we don't fully understand yet. There are a few unpleasant things happening all one after another. First, the high-energy photons arrive from the explosion, followed by many decades of radiation from the radioactive tsunami, both of which seriously damage the ozone layer, Earth's shield against harmful radiation. The GGs. ozone layer absorbs ultraviolet radiation by breaking apart ozone, O3, into O2 and a free oxygen atom, which later reforms back into another ozone molecule. But the supernova radiation breaks up nitrogen molecules that gobble up the free oxygen, breaking oh, wow. the cycle, and depleting the ozone oh, layer. Oh, wow, quickly. it just breaks right through. Without a radiation shield, everybody living on the surface is exposed to very high levels of UV radiation from our sun. Yep. Cancer rates would skyrocket, and just going outside during the day could be life threatening. Yep. The extra radiation would also kill a lot, if not most, of the plankton in the oceans that live near the surface and are the basis for the marine food chains, leading to a mass extinction. Oh, no. Worse still, supernova radiation would oh, ionize boy. gas in the atmosphere, which no means more that sushi. it punch through molecules and knock electrons no more off sushi. nuclei, leaving them charged. Trick. These charged nuclei then act as seeds for water vapor to gather and form massive global clouds. In the worst case, they would reflect enough sunlight to trigger an ice age. Mm. In fact, it's oh. thought that the ice age two and a half million years ago was caused by a supernova. Wow. Some scientists even think that a supernova about 60 light years away might have been the cause of the Devonian mass extinction 350 million years ago. Really? Wow, I never knew that. Because of a supernova? Supernova was the cause of an ice age and the extinction of, what, dinosaurs or whatever? Really? That's a good theory. Caused by a supernova. Some scientists even think that a supernova about 60 light years away might have been the cause of the Devonian mass extinction 350 million years Devonian ago. Devonian mass but extinction. But wait, there's okay. more. The electrons punched free by the radiation form enormous electric avalanches, or mm. in other words, lightning. Earth is hit by some of the worst thunderstorms in millions of years. Wow. The intense lightning causes global wildfires that consume forests and crops, devastate cities, disrupt our electrical grids. Bro, if this happens, that means that we have to, it's just like those freaking movies of like how uh, on the sur on the surface, everything is like clucked up, but we have to go underground. We have to build cities underground. And I swear they have built cities under, there's plans to build cities underground. Like, you know, camps and all this stuff underground. I swear they already have like underground bunkers and all that crazy stuff, right? Bro, this is, this is what is, <laughs> it's meant for, I guess. And global supply chains. All a decimated ozone layer leaks deadly radiation. Correct me if I'm wrong, the though. Correct me if I'm may wrong. Have bounced back from a nearby supernova. Love to know your opinions down million below. Million years, there's the no comments. guarantee modern civilization can take a hit of this magnitude. Hmm. We would face food shortages, skyrocketing prices, and wars as nations struggle to not be consumed by chaos. Oh boy! So a War, supernova of this course. close would, at the very least, do significant damage for hundreds or thousands of years, if not end our modern civilization and with its millions or even billions of lives. Still, humanity would likely survive and could recover. Really? We can survive still? A lot of people would be dead, but like, we can still survive? I don't know. Stage five, closer than Maybe 20. the people that have underground bunkers. Five light years. A supernova closer than 25 light years oh, means close. that we're in its kill radius, where yep. a mass extinction is all but guaranteed. Yep. Probably about half of the ozone layer would be destroyed and massive climactic disruption on a scale we've never witnessed would ravage Earth. Entire ecosystems would swiftly be wiped out by radiation as global wildfires envelop the planet. All the things described before happen, but way more intensely and much faster. A few people might survive for years in bunkers if they have yeah. food supplies, but the world they return to will be devastated and hostile to life for hundreds of thousands of years. Lord of mercy. Human extinction is extremely likely. Lord of mercy. The final stage, four light years. Wait, did you just say human extinction is something... Wait, what? It's extremely likely. It's extremely likely, okay. The final stage, four light years. Being any closer to a supernova is very unlikely because space is big, but yeah. the effects would be extreme. Mm. Even from four light years away, the distance to Alpha Centauri, a supernova would be almost as bright as the sun in the sky. Oh, man. While casting two shadows could be fun for a few hours, within days the Earth's surface gets as hot as a sauna, baking the surface for weeks until the explosion fades. Wow, we're melting. The surface of Earth burns, scoured of life. 
Even the oceans aren't safe. The massive amount of radiation that follows burns away the ozone layer, killing everything that sees sunlight. It would be the largest extinction event in history, reducing life to a few survivors in the deep sea and critters in the deep soil. Life basically has to start over. Conclusion. How worried do you need to be? So Very. should you worry? No. Yes. Fortunately, no? there are only a handful of stars that may explode within 1,000 light years of Earth, and none are close enough to be a serious threat. But I'm living till I'm 1,000 light years, bro. What the fuck? Even better, these stars... I'm sure. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> Made no sense. So you are safe. I guess. But there's no guarantee for the far future. As stars orbit the galaxy, our descendants may find themselves dangerously close to a supernova. But by then, a far more advanced and wiser humanity will hopefully be able to just move out of the way. How? In any case, what? You can sleep well tonight. That's not happening. Out of the beautiful night sky. Yeah, you say that now, then what and happens tomorrow? If you dream about understanding the physics behind this video and others, we've created a... Wow. Wow. Shout out to, in a nutshell, this video was very informative. I love it. I love these videos, man. I love, I love, I don't know. I just love science in general, in, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But they explain it so well. They are such good teachers, you know what I'm saying? They really know how to explain. They're better than the teachers at my, the profs at my school. Let's be honest here. Um, no, but seriously, <laughs> all jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know. I was worried about, you know, supernovas. I'm pretty worried. I'm living till I'm like a thousand and something years old. So, Rick, hopefully this doesn't happen in my lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Maybe my kid's lifetime, heck no. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Have a great day. Yeah, peace. You win. Perfect.